So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're gonna do a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the new releases from Amazon. So yesterday I released a video just letting everyone know that Amazon has officially released the 4K Max. Now this came with a ton of new features and if you're in the market for 4K Max, definitely check that video out and let me know what you think in the description of that video. But one of the things I didn't mention yesterday is that Amazon also released the Fire TV Stick 4K. So this video, what I wanted to do is just go over some of the differences between the two devices. That way you can make the decision of which device you wanna get. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. So before we jump into it, I will be leaving links to both of these devices in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll start off with some of the basics. So the price difference between the 4K Max and 4K is $10. So on the left, you can see the 4K Max is priced at $59.99. And on the right, the 4K is priced at $49. Now, both are set to be released on the 27th. And if you were to pre-order, you should see it delivered by September 29th. So let's jump into some of the differences as far as the hardware and then we'll go over the specifications here in a little bit. So you can see both of them have a whole new design. They went away from the square edges and they did a more curvy design which I actually like. Both devices are still going to use a micro USB for power as well. The remotes however are going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and we'll do a quick comparison. Left side is going to be the 4K Max, right side is going to be the 4K. So you can see on the 4K you do have your home, your back, and your menu button up here. You do also have the fast forward and rewind, and that actually is the same exact layout as it is on the 4K Max. But when you move down below that, you can see the 4K Max has the volume up and down right here, has the guide button, and it also has a up and down, and assumingly this would change in channels on certain applications. So uh, on the regular 4K, only has a volume button, and then it stops there. So, and below that on the 4K Max, you're gonna have the mute, you're also gonna to have the settings button and a reset button as well below that we are going to have our pre-programmed button and like i said more than likely this is going to be prime videos then netflix disney plus and hulu and we'll be able to confirm that once uh, the products are released so besides that as far as the layout everything's identical you can see the size here is going to be the same 99 millimeters by 30 by 14 um, and you can see same thing 99 30 by 14 so both devices are going to be the exact same size and they're gonna be the exact same weight as well. As far as getting to the specifications, this is where we're gonna see some differences. So the 4K Max is gonna have a quad core 2.0 gigahertz processor, while the 4K is gonna have a quad core 1.7 gigahertz processor. The graphics card on the 4K Max is gonna be 850 megahertz, and on the 4K is gonna be 650 megahertz. So Keep that in mind. Storage, which is the biggest upgrade on these devices, uh, storage on the 4K Max is gonna be 16 gigs, and on the 4K, it's gonna be eight gigs. So if you're someone who's upgrading, just know that just the difference between storage might be worth the extra $10 that you'll pay for the 4K Max. The Wi-Fi is also a little bit different. The 4K has Wi-Fi 6, Why the 4K Max have Wi-Fi 6E tri-band. So overall, 4K Max is gonna have a better Wi-Fi chip. In essence, you should see a little bit more performance. The last thing that's worth mentioning is that the Fire TV 4K Max does come with the Fire TV ambient experience. Here's an overview of what the ambient experience is. So basically you have artwork, you're gonna have widgets and it gives you a brief description here. So with the artwork, you can turn your television through canvas, creates expression with over 2000 works of fine art and photography. Helpful widgets that you can customize that works with your calendar, to-do list, and many more. And last but not least, instant ambience. Um, turn your TV into a display for beautiful art by tapping the A button on your remote and select an ambient experience from the shortcut panel or just pressing OK and then asking it to do that. So those are going to be the similarities and the differences between the new Fire TV Stick 4K Max and the Fire TV 4K Stick. Uh, as I said before, they're $10 difference. The main things you're going to get is more storage with the 4K Max. You're going to get a faster processor, better graphics card, better Wi-Fi. You're also going to have the ambient experience and a slightly better remote control. Is it worth the extra $10? And I would normally say no, but this is absolutely worth it. I would pay the extra $10 just for the storage and just the fact that it has the additional 
uh, features that I just mentioned. Just make it a no-brainer in my opinion. So if you're gonna go for one device, I would go for the 4K Max. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section.